Hi guys, welcome to this episode. Today I'm going to be talking about the features on this Canon 7D. Um, so I'm shooting in manual mode. Well, I'm demonstrating, shall I say, in manual mode. So I'm going to switch the camera on. So let's switch it on. Let's go, it's on. And what I'm going to be demonstrating is this button here, this button here, this button here, and this button here. It's all the different features that what this these different um, buttons do. So if I click on the Q button, um, so if I just take it to the photographic, click on Q button, here you've got all your various settings for your sh shutter, aperture and ISO and all these other things that you probably will need to know at some point. You can hover through this by this little, so you've got to click on this Q button so it's visible. You can hover through it like this, so you just literally hover through like this. Um, select whatever you want to change, so if you so if you shoot ISO, just reduce your ISO or increase it depending on what you want to shoot your shooting at, if it's in low lit or high lit environments. Your f-stop, so that's your shutter, you can increase and decrease over here. So this goes to 5.6 depending on your lens that you've got attached. And again, it goes all the way up to 36 This with this particular lens. And then you've got your shutter, so again your shutter, so you can just hover through this like so with this button here. Uh, so if I select um, if I go and select this one, I can uh, increase and decrease my shutter speed. That's my exposure compensation, and it'll get out these little three little brackets, so it allows me to control the amount of uh, exposure the image or the video might may, may um, undertake. Um, and then I've got um, my um, my manual um, autofocus, and to change this, you will need to go here. So this little wheel here. And if you sort of hover through it, it will change it to the various selections of focus points that you allow to se um, select on this particular camera. So if I, for example, go to set all, all 19 selection points, it select all 19. So there's not many on this day trip. There's an old model, but you know, the new ones, you've got like, like literally 50, 60 focus points. And people do love their focus points because they want everything pin pinpoint sharp these days. And if I select through that, so if I go through that, you've got your various focal points. So if I select that one, for example, with this one, by this using this wheel, I can move this around. So for example, if I've got my subject on the left or right, I can sort of have that on focus. Um, again, if I go back in there, I can move it to the right. So if I want certain people in focus or certain, like a tree focus or a bird in focus, I may just select one of those focus points. So useful. Um, if I click back on my Q button, if I click on my um, standard, so these are the different um, kind of like, not filters, but kind of settings for um, picture style. So if you want a monochrome, for example, you may just select one of these. Where's monochrome? Um, there it is. So if you, that's basically black and white. Um, so you select that for, for it to be a black and white image. If I click back on Q button, uh, I have to select it first. Then it goes blue. And then I can go to my white balance if I want, select whatever white balance I want. So with this one, you have to use this wheel. And again, just sort of kind of hover it in and out like this. Select the one you want, press set. It'll turn dark blue and that's ready to go as well. Then you got your spot metering. Again, um, if you do sort of baby portraits, um, sort of, you know, of people, perhaps for example, again, you have to select it and it'll, do, it'll turn a blue and then that's selected. Um, then you've got your file sizes over here. So if I select that one, oh, I'm going a bit too quick there. So if I select that, oh, I've got a bit too quick again. Select that one. And this one is all your file sizes. So again, you can sort of just hover through these. So I don't want raw, so I'm not doing any studio work. Go to my other file, the um, other file types. I've got small, tells you the file size. Uh, small again, and then medium raw. And if you hover through it, you can get, the, as usually just short, a medium. Because the file size is not too big, and you know, you know, you, you've got hundreds and hundreds of pictures, you don't really want them to be massive, do you? Really, to say true. So, so that's that. Uh, one shot, um, auto, um, AF auto focus mode. So, select the one that you want uh, AI, a, a, AI focus, AI server, or one shot. So, I usually leave it on one shot, and then you've got your single shoot if you want a continuous high speed burst shot. Again, you have to hover through with this. Select the one you want and then click on that and it will select the select it and then that, that is ready to go. Um, I never really play around with this. This is like essentially customizing your camera. So again, if you want to sort of, you know, customize it, then by all means do so. But I never sort of leave, I just leave it on default tape tree. What, this, what can I leave you on? Just, that, that does it for me really. Camera mode, switch it to camera mode. So that's camera mode. So just go boop and there's camera mode. And the camera mode, if you click on the Q button, so if I click on the Q button, it will give me a few features here. 
And again, I can just hover through it. So the raw, I can change the file size very quickly and I can change the, the frame rate. Um, so if I want it 1080, 720, 620, I can just very quickly do it here. And it will also change, if you can kind of see that it will also change the dimension, four by, four by three, six by nine uh, frame rate on my viewfinder as well. Um, so yeah, some features. Um, you know, my, my little light here shows, you know, if I click on that, there's light on there. You can see the settings on there as well. So the one I've been using the most is that wheel there, this button here, this button here, and my Q button to really sort of go through the various features of this camera. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, please do post, and I'm happy to respond to anything that you may have. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.